Hello everyone and welcome to another C Games group stage replay here in and now. So we are going to be into the winter wasteland yet again of Triton. And introducing our players here on the bottom right, we are going to get the blue Terran that is Lookman aka in the niches Deruziel and his opponent on the top left. You know him already, pretty familiar, the one who's been sending in these replays in the first place allowing us to get some more history going, it's the Red Protoss Ranger of Malaysia. Ikun. So we are going to see some action here in now on Triton. And already Lookman going for the cheese proxy backs to start things off. And interesting, will, it will be pretty interesting to see some Marines funneled on in. Will Ranger be on it in the first place? What it will be in store here and now? For our blue Terran, Deruzo though, making it seem like he's playing standard though. He does put the Supply Depot as well as that Barracks out in front. Maybe the Ranger might be caught aware by the fact that this Barracks might be a little later in terms of that HP bar. So some minerals going somewhere else perhaps that Ranger must be looking for in the first place. In the meantime, Deruzo though, and be setting up this uh, Barracks all the way onto the potential third of a Ranger. Let's talk about the Russell just for a little bit. Was a part of the Indonesian scene for quite a while already. Hasn't done as much as you would expect though. He was in the WESG Indonesian qualifiers only falling flat against his fellow teammate Quantel here. And he's been practicing here and now for the C Games. You can see him as well as well in a few international things. NA and Australian ladders abound. Anyway, interesting enough. We will see the Ryuzo go for that sex lab. And interesting to note, it's going to be a concussion shot here. And now for the Marauders and into Marauder Tech we go. So it seems like armor is going to be the main enemy here. And now for our Blue Terran, we'll decide to take care of this proxy pylon as well. Expecting a cancel here from Ranger to slow down that second. But overall, it is pretty interesting because the Ryuzo doesn't have the minerals in the first place for it. Instead, Going for a few more infantry units along the way, and we'll be sending this SCV with an escort of two marines. In the meantime, though, Chrono boosting out that adept, very standard here, and now for Ranger. We'll be going for the warp gate research at the same time, and into the second base we go, the Adepto. Going on the offset already, telling his mom, telling his dad, is like, time to get on out! It's time to make my mark on the world and immediately gonna be seeing this SCV going for the chase already. Wants to go for the takedown, sees the Marines though. And it's gonna be Ranger trying to decide which target he's gonna go for. Microwing that shade at the same time onto the right. He goes taking a little bit of that extra damage. But overall, that's gonna be a good tell here. And now for Ranger, sees the two Marines. They do go down. SCVs are there as well. And it seems like the Ruzo was thinking about taking care of that adept with these Marauders. But no, here comes the Thunder. And kaboom, baby, that Pylon going to be under the rest already. Slow will get spotted as the probes do get slow trying to get up on top. And now there's a little bit of a predicament here. And now for Ranger, he only has that Stalker, which is very cost ineffective against these Marauders in the first place. Stalker, second Stalker being warped on in as well. Range support, probe's gonna be in the way. Adept in the meantime, focusing onto that Marine, and it seems like he has had enough pretending that he is dead. The probe though spots that one HP Marine, and it will go down. Second Marauder falls as well, and this bunker here and now from the Russo not gonna go up anytime soon. Only expecting a cancel as workers are traded here. And here comes the Marauders and the Marines yet again helping the Protoss out, taking care of the plates. But another probe goes down, but here comes the Immortal! And the Barrier gonna be very, very useful. The face disruptors backing a punch against Armored as well. And this might be game over, man, already for the Ryuzo. He has to back on out by this point. Having this clutch unit for our Protoss player is gonna be enough to stop the tide, stem it, and plug that leak. So immediately onto the barracks, lifts on up, gonna be going for the scout and set this SCV. Tried his best, but he didn't succeed, and now he will get what he doesn't want and dies into the crevice of Triton yet again. Oh my god, he's just down there, man. He's just down there. But overall, good defense there here from Kun. He gets the immortal out in time, and honestly, that adept getting the scout in the first place was absolutely huge. Since he saw the first SCV and the Marine stop that first bunker from coming on up, and then the, I guess you would say that the usual was overextending just a little bit as well. Didn't really pay attention to anything else in that base as the barracks now are going to be seeing that natural will be burning on down, being a pest just for the time being. And basically the Ruzel sacrificing this structure just to make sure 
dead and not an attack wave is gonna no attack wave rather is gonna come anytime soon anyway still observer here and now for kun he wants to play it a little safe but he's already gearing up for the offensive with a proxy pylon to boot near that main base in the meantime though second command center built up here by our terran player and then into orbit command we go still though interesting enough two barracks are built so this must be a bio opening here in now for look man he already has the marauders with and got shot in the first place goes for the siege tank as well for fire supports and i wouldn't be surprised if many packs come out into the field in just a bit anyway we do see ranger now setting up his buildings to form this cascades basically you warp them in in these small crevices and they are good to go fight in the funnel in the first place makes them force forces rather your opponents to go the long way around and still we are gonna get his standard warp prism range of the warp prism always a treat to see charge lot coming online as well and in the meantime here for the result seems like all the information still going the favor of ranger though with that hallucinated phoenix for the time being siege tanks are set on up by the ramp bunkers are fortified and seems like the terran is gearing up for a defense and now ranger can make the decision to go for a drop go for a full-on attack or expand into a third seems like third might be the response because he's queuing up that probe to get in position already still though the wonderful mystical adventure oh look at that camera micro there from our Protoss player and in the meantime what is the result up to he's still busy getting a little more of that macro game going trying to come back up in the work count but it seems like a red Protoss just in the lead for the time being a base more trying to come on up having more workers fully saturating those two bases still though interesting enough it's a liberator here on the left hand side it seems like the Ruzel is going to be deciding, okay, I need to get back in this game. And harassment on that middle line is going to be pretty, pretty important to say the least. At the same time, though, Zealot's going for the scout. We do see one Marine. And now it's just both sides sending in some infantry to get some more vision along the way. Production, though, we are getting plus one stim pack as well as combat shield. Really showing that this is going to be a biofocus, absolutely essential. But now it's time for the Liberation Zone to be set on up. One pro goes down already. A second one down for the count. And that's a third by the edge. Oh, a fourth and even a fifth. Good, good value here and now for the Rugeal. It seems like it's going to be clean up courtesy of the Stalkers. There's the hit already. Going for the second shot. One more. Going to get that takedown. So six kills. One Stalker. Five probes. Not the worst for wear there for the Liberator. Could have gotten on that a little earlier. But this does force our Protoss to be a little more wary of his uh, sidelines of his sidelines he does see the marines dropped on down ranger he's going he does expose the charge interesting enough that Zealot decides to run on in so no time to push no su surprise surprise there with the charge slots still though step back she pushed it by Lookman and both sides showing their hand in terms of tech it's time for our Indonesian Terran player to go on the offset yet again. Cleans up that one scout, the Selnaga Tower. Gonna be a witness to that one. But still, it seems like there's a drop onto that natural, forcing the SCPs to get pulled in the first place. At the same time, engagement here on the forefront. Charge lots out in front, going for the push onto the Marines. By the back, gonna get the load. Good force fields, though, courtesy of the Sentry. And at the same time, interesting enough that Siege Tanks are not getting sieged on up. He has the vision on this high ground, but not to maximum DPS here. And now for Lufman, must be struggling on two fronts at the same time, though. The doorstep of the Terran under the rest already. With the mines are double pumped, looking to get in position. And here here comes Ranger trying to get into that mineral line. 32, 33 workers in that mineral field. Not gonna be in the best state. Still, it seems like the Rugeal has won the fight in the forefront. And this immortal with 11 kills. Gonna get surrounded. The SCBs, the worker revolution, gonna help things out. The Marine gonna be enforcing that one. We'll get that takedown. And onto the third base we go. And but still, look man, not sieging these things up whatsoever. Charge loss instead. Getting in the face of the siege tanks. We'll get the slices and the dices on those tanks. And overall, it seems like our Blue Terran player is struggling on two fronts, literally. Two engagements wasn't really the best micro there from Lookman. But we'll see if he can keep on up. He is going to be defending here onto the wrap and the rules will setting with these window mines. At the same time though, Ranger does spot this out along the way. Here comes more Marauders as well. But look at that unit tab already. Three Arkans are coming into the forefront against five Marines and four Marauders with five Medivacs to boot. Sure, they're going to get some one big hit. The Stalkers trying to bait things out. Blinks on back. It was a hit I believe on... Was it a hit? 
or was that the Marauders and Marines getting some shield damage done? But nevertheless, it gets on the inside of the Warp Prison. Pretty safe and sound here for the Stalker. One charge lot though, gonna be running in, and his sacrifice will not be in vain, because here comes the Thunder, here comes the units, and the Blue Balls of Lightning keeping the Psionic Shockwaves in check. Three kills already, three Archons, three Balls, three Fury wielders right here right now from the protoss golden armada and who needs the ships because you have the golden force on the ground instead the natural over one already nine kills seven kills uh, and gg is called ranger takes the win a little too ambitious there from the russo with that proxy barracks good read and good good micro there from ranger i love the fact that he was just able to stop it by playing his own standard game he stands it adept to try and be pesky, get some scouting information, gets in the way of the Marines and the SCVs, and proactive really is a good playstyle to see. Ranger taking that first win, who'll get the second win? That's the real question.